and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipes video. So today's video, I wanna show you guys some one pot recipes that are not only very delicious, but also healthy and lower calorie for those of you that are watching your weight or you wanna eat slightly lower calorie, high volume foods that are filling as well, or just anybody, okay? You don't have to be watching your weight to enjoy these recipes as well. So hopefully you guys find these helpful and delicious and it's really perfect for the colder months, okay? So if you are looking for something more comforting, more satisfying and warm for the colder months, this video is for you guys, okay? So all the recipes will be in a blog post down below and today's video is very kindly sponsored by Mizen. So for all of the one pot recipes, I'm gonna be using this new Dutch oven by Mizen right here. It is absolutely gorgeous and it's the same people that brought you this beautiful chef's knife, okay? That I've talked about before. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the Dutch oven in a little bit, but basically they're giving you guys 20% off your first order using the code down below. So the link and code are down below, so check that out but um, let me get to the first recipe first. Let's get started. All right, you guys, I do apologize if you can uh, hear some background noise. I'm actually in a hotel lobby in Cancun at the moment, so that's fun. Anyways, let me show you how to make this uh, delicious soup. This is a clam chowder, but no clams. It's gonna be a vegan clam chowder. So we're gonna start off by cutting up some potatoes. We're also gonna dice up some carrots, some uh, celery, and all the measurements and everything will be in a blog post, link down below as always. Into your Dutch oven or pot, you're going to add in some vegan butter or oil and then heat that up on medium high heat. And then we're gonna add in some diced onions. Oh yeah, we're also gonna dice onions. Forgot to mention that. Okay, anyways, we're gonna cook that for a couple of minutes until the onions begin to soften. Then let's add in some celery and carrots and then we're gonna saute for another few minutes. This is basically a much healthier version of something that's usually like not so healthy. I don't know if you guys have ever had like those creamy clam chowders or any sort of chowders. They're usually really, really high fat, high calorie, lots of cream. And this one's gonna be a healthier, lighter version, but still really flavorful and delicious. Anyways, we're gonna add in some flour into our Dutch oven as well. We're gonna mix this well, and then we're gonna slowly pour in some unsweetened non-dairy milk. I'm using almond milk. We're gonna slowly pour it in while mixing everything together, and that's gonna create a more kind of creamy base. Then let's add in some water and mix again. And then we're also gonna add in a veggie broth cube. Alternatively, you can just add in vegetable broth instead of water because that's basically what this is. But yeah, okay. I like to just have veggie broth cubes because it's just easier and vegetable broth always goes bad, okay? But veggie broth cubes don't, so. Anyways, that's what I did. Now I'm gonna add in some Old Bay seasoning and for our non-clam clams, I'm actually gonna use some oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms have a really nice chewy texture that I feel works really well as a substitute for clams or some type of meat or any other type of seafood maybe, I don't know. Anyways, it's really good, okay? So we chop that up. I'm also gonna add in some salt and pepper into our little soup as well. And then of course add in those chopped oyster mushrooms along with the chopped potatoes. And we're also gonna add in some canned corn. And now we can bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, you can turn it down to a medium low or a medium heat and just let it cook for around 15 to 20 minutes or until the potatoes have cooked and softened. Now, if you would like this to be a little bit more filling, I suggest adding in a can of chickpeas or something to bump up the protein, which is gonna add more satiety. All in all, without any chickpeas, if we divide this recipe into four servings, it comes to approximately 181 calories per serving, five grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, and seven grams of protein. I would add this as a side or a starter to any sandwich or wrap or whatever else, or have this as like a filling snack. It's super yummy and flavorful, and I think you'll really enjoy it. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that first recipe. And now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Mizen, which is a brand that really focuses on high quality but affordable products that are really, really helpful in the kitchen. For example, the chef's knife, which I've talked about before, which I love a lot. But now they have more products. They have this beautiful Dutch oven, which I'm so excited about because I don't know if you guys remember, but like a few videos ago, I was like, I need a pot, I need something. And a lot of you guys were like, get a Dutch oven. So I was very excited to be like, 
like, okay, now I have a Dutch oven. Okay, very exciting. It's my very first Dutch oven. So basically the whole point of Mizen is to offer premium tools at more affordable prices. So you're getting really high quality products for an affordable price, which is awesome. So for example, this Dutch oven, if you get like a more high-end Dutch oven, it's gonna cost probably twice as much as this one right here. So it is definitely a lot more affordable and it's very durable as well. So it's gonna last you a very long time because it still has that really high quality of a more expensive product. So this Dutch oven has a four layer premium enamel coating, which ensures evenness in the enamel of the Dutch oven. So it also has even heating with this 4.5 millimeter cast iron core. You can get a lot of heat retention and even heat retention as well. And you also have two lid options, which is really awesome. We have this really easy to use, handy dandy silicone lid right here. And also this grill lid, which can be used also as a grill pan on any stove, which is really awesome. So basically you're getting two products in one and you can also use this as a lid as well or as a grill pan. So if you guys are interested in grabbing yourself this beautiful Dutch oven, then check out the link down below and use Use my promo code down below as well to get 20% off your first order. Yes, guys. So definitely check them out. And thank you so much to Mizan for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go on to recipe number two. My next recipe is going to be a healthier take on a Korean stew called Pudejjige. Pudejjige stands for army based stew and it's basically a spicy Korean stew with a bunch of random ingredients like spam, rice cakes, etc. And today I'm going to make a healthier, completely plant based mushroom Pudejjige. First thing I'm going to do is mix together the sauce ingredients in a small bowl. We're going to add in some minced garlic, gochugaru, which is Korean red pepper flakes, some soy sauce, gochujang, which is Korean red pepper paste, sugar, and some warm water to get everything mixed well. Again, the measurements will be listed in a blog post linked in the description box down below. Now into our Dutch oven, we're going to simply add in our ingredients, starting with some chopped cabbage, two kinds of mushrooms. I'm using oyster and portobello. Feel free to add in other mushrooms as well. If I had enoki mushrooms, I would have also added that. Anyways, I'm going to add in some chopped vegan hot dogs as well, some soft tofu, and some baked beans. Yes, baked beans. Traditionally, the stew is basically a random stew made up of ingredients left over from the US Army base after the Korean War, mixed with traditional Korean flavors, which is why you'll see like really random ingredients like baked beans in this. And now we can add in that sauce along with some water. And if you'd like, you can actually add vegetable broth instead of water if you want a more flavorful broth. I decided to add in a little kelp powder, which is going to make this into a kelp broth and give it a little bit more depth and flavor. That part is totally optional, but that's what I did, okay? My suggestion would be to start by adding in a smaller amount of liquid at first and then adding more if needed, depending on how salty you want and how flavorful you want the broth. So I'm making this slightly more brothy, like more soupy because I want to make this into more of a soup rather than a stew. But traditionally, I would make it with less broth. So anyways, it's totally up to you. This is your meal, okay? Now simply bring this to a boil and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and add in any salt and pepper if needed. And at the end, I like to also add in some green onions and top with some roasted sesame seeds, which is optional. Now, if we divide this into four servings, which is quite a lot per serving, this comes to only 172 calories per serving approximately. We get two grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of protein. I would definitely recommend eating this with rice or some noodles. And I really hope you guys enjoy this. Now, if you want a more hearty version of this stew and more ideas on what you could add to this, I have a recipe for this in my every Everyday Asian Recipes ebook, which is in my shop, which is linked down below. And last but not least, let's make a veggie packed minestrone soup. I made this the other day when I needed to use up a bunch of veggies in my fridge, and this was the perfect soup for it. First, we're gonna start by adding in a few sprays of oil into our Dutch oven or pot, and I'm gonna saute some diced onions and minced garlic until the onions begin to soften. Then let's add in some diced carrots and celery, and once again, the blog post is linked below if you guys need the measurements and written ingredients. Now we're gonna cook the veggies for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna add in some more veggies. Let's add in some bell pepper and zucchini as well, and I added in an entire bunch of kale, which was quite a lot, okay? So I let that cook for a little bit until it wilts a little bit or wilted a little bit and then let's add in some mushrooms and I'm going to add in some seasonings. We have Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder and black pepper.
We're going to also add in a large can of diced tomatoes along with vegetable bouillon cubes and some water. Alternatively, again, you can simply add in veggie broth instead of water and vegetable bouillon. It's basically the same thing, okay? Now we're going to bring this to a boil and cook it for around 10 minutes. And then once it's boiling, we're going to add in some pasta. I'm using penne and also I'm going to add in some beans. I'm using white kidney beans. And now on medium heat, let's cook this for another 15 to 20 minutes or until the pasta is completely cooked. And once the soup is pretty much finished, let's add in some lemon juice, which is really going to help enhance the flavors. And of course, give this a taste and add in any salt and pepper as needed. And I love the soup because it can be really versatile you can add in whatever veggies you have on hand it's up to you so yeah anyway this was quite a lot of soup so if we divide this into six servings which is still big servings we're gonna get around 236 calories per serving two grams of fat 48 grams of carbs and 13 grams of protein this is so satisfying filling healthy and delicious hope you try this out all right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for my three one pot recipes. I really hope you guys try these out. These are all really delicious and really comforting and healthy as well. So I hope you enjoy them. And of course, if you want all of the written recipes, they'll be linked down below in a blog post. And of course, thank you so much to Mizan for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check them out. The link is down below as well as my promo code to get 20% off your first order. So don't miss out on that. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!